Well, 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 well. Hello, hello, my friends. Happy Wednesday to you all. Ursa, congrats on being first. And good morning to you. How you doing today? Blue, good morning. Nonder, good morning. Hello, hello, my friends. Brushing my teeth before the dentist. Why am I so nervous? Don't be nervous, Nonder. You're doing the right thing, first of all. You're doing the right thing. Good morning, Coleman. Good morning, Red and Crystal. How are you all doing? I was going to go to work, but my stomach's being weird. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Red. Hopefully it's just, uh, I don't know, some sort of... Sometimes I don't feel the best when I wake up, but, but it goes away. Hopefully it's something like that. Stayed up too late in the VC and I'm tired now. Ooh, there was a VC and nobody invited me. <laughs> Haven't heard this song in so long. Iconic. And uh, it's... It's the blood pumping, right? Like, it's so funny because I've been, um, you know, I've been thinking like, man, I really, uh, really should change this, the stream starting video, but it's just, it's one of those things. I always think about it and, uh, it's, but I also realize like, I just don't, I don't know how, how worth it it'll be, you know? Jard, hello. Staying home from work today because my stomach's being a weirdo. Yeah, hopefully it's just hopefully it's just a weird sort of morning feeling and it'll go away throughout the day, Red. <clears throat> uh, I'm not in lots of pain, but I don't want to risk anything. It does end up being anything. Yeah, fair enough. Hope all is well today. Doing all right, Crystal. You know, I as uh, as I was getting ready, I'm sort of like, man, my lower back is feeling pretty uncomfortable. I don't know what I could have done to it. Um, so hopefully it's a similar thing. Hopefully it's just a weird morning thing that'll work itself out. Drew Kelt, hello there, my friend. How are you doing today? Should be better next week. I hope it's even sooner than that. Have you been feeling, have you been feeling a little um, uneasy, Red, lately, or is this something new? Well, hopefully it's even sooner than next week. Hopefully it's freaking today, you know? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, I don't know how many people here care. Um, I know professor, I professor reached out to me like ASAP. So I'm hoping I get a chance to talk with professor about it today, but, um, <clears throat> had the, I had the, um, the ending and it was not by, it was not by professor EXP. I should clarify on this too. I had the ending of the um, the 1500 meter run, the men's 1500 meter final in the Olympics spoiled for me. I was like knee deep in some work and uh, I didn't have the TV on. And uh, so I get a message from professor. He's like, oh my gosh, did you see that? And I was like, no. And so I rushed my TV. Um, they weren't showing any, you know, they had already moved on to the next event. They weren't showing any like highlights or anything or, or whatever. I tried rewinding um, and Peacock doesn't let you rewind when you're watching the live broadcast. You have to wait until they put out the, you have to wait till it's all over and then they make the whole like VOD available. Um, and in the meantime, while I was waiting, while I was waiting, one of my athletes texted me and just put the person who won their whole, their, their name in all caps. So as soon as I got the notification, immediately saw their name and I'm like, you really just spoiled that for me. It's funny. Like, I can't even be that mad because like he's a high school kid. I'm his track coach. Like he was just amazed by what he saw, but it's just kind of funny because they see me as their track coach. And a lot of times they forget that I have a full-time job. That's not being their track coach, <laughs> you know, so, like I can't even really be that mad, but it's just like, dang, um, yeah, so that that kind of sucks. So then I was like, well, at this rate, I might as well just go ahead and go to Twitter, um, you know, so I, I did and got to see the uh, like the end of the race that, you know, on Twitter, they didn't show the whole race, of course, but I actually got to watch the entire race uh, yesterday as well. So anyway, <laughs> it was just like, dang it. So yeah, Professor did not spoil it. He just was like, oh man, you got to watch this. And so I, I tried to go and watch it, but before I could, it was, it was in fact spoiled. Last few days, you've been having that stomach issue. 
you did what I've done many times and slept at a bad angle. That's what I'm thinking. It, I feel like it had to have been something in my sleep. I have to be by next week because I only work once a week. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I won't let you rewind. Isn't that annoying, Ursa, when you're watching the live broadcast? You know, um, on I mean, Twitch lets you rewind. It, it's not it's not like just as simple as clicking on the timeline, but uh, but you could rewind this live broadcast at the beginning if you wanted. Um, the Peacock, you got to get your crap together. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Tell them they fail. I'd make an awful teacher. I'll just kick them off the team. I'll just kick them off the team. They see you as a track coach, but not as a person with feelings and hopes and dreams. Exactly. I just had the same thing happen to me. You did? Really, Jared? What was it? Decide to scroll Twitter and the winner of a tech attorney I want to watch got spoiled. Dang. Yeah, it's... Man, it is tough. It really is tough. Like, because that's the thing is I, I told you guys how... um How I had been... Like, I subscribed to The Athletic, which is a... Um, it's a, it's a sports exclusive, like all they talk about is sports on there. Um, but it's, it's a, it's, it's a paper, essentially a, a newspaper for, uh, for sports only. It's the sports section of the newspaper, <laughs> but on their site, they don't do any advertisements. I don't think at least they haven't. That was kind of their thing when I first subscribed. I haven't been using it on their website as much anymore. I've been using it mostly on my phone, but Anyway, this year for the Olympics, they started to give some like breaking news alerts and be like, middle of the day, so and so won this event. And I'm like, why would you do that? Like, I, I didn't ask for Olympics notifications. Why would you do that? You know, so I had a few things spoiled for me just by that. Um, professor sent me the message being like, you got to check out the 1500. Um, I didn't get a notification from that. Like, I thought, I thought, you know, any minute now I'll get a notification um, and I never did. So I thought, okay, shoot, I'm actually going to be able to, I'm going to be able to find this event and not have it spoiled for me. And then my athlete, <laughs> then it was my athlete. No spoilers or you're out Magoots. Exactly. Yep. Make him run so many laps. Well, he's, he's currently, uh, he currently, like he just started his cross country season. So I think it's kind of difficult to make a cross country runner um, punished by by making them run more. You know what I mean? And the guy rooting for uh, the guy I'm rooting for won though, so that's cool. At least that is cool. Kid has to do ten minute lunges. <laughs> we do we do I uh, extreme iso lunges sometimes. So good morning, clumsy. Hello. We do extreme iso lunges. I could make him like all right, all right, you turd burglar. You're lunging today. Hope you. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed watching that other guy run because you're not going to be running for a long time. You expect from strangers, but not one of your kids. Yeah, I, I, I was like, my response was, you really just spoiled that for me. And he's like, oh, sorry, I thought you were watching. And I just put one word, working. <laughs> That's all I put, working. Speaking of, you want to lunge with me before I go? Uh, I, I certainly could. I certainly could. Um, I cannot, I do not have the dexterity to do pig romance and lunge. So we'll have to lunge then pig romance. And Irish eyes be smiling. <laughs> yeah. How is your, how is your, are you back home now, clumsy? Or is your trip still ongoing? And if, I mean, either way, how, how the heck was it? How long were you gone for? Or how long will you be gone for? All right. Got to leave in about 10 minutes or so? Okay, let's do them now. If, if now is good for you, now is good for me. It's good. All right, let's do this. No pigs will be romanced. Well, I hope they will. Um, just, you know, they won't be romanced right this second. All right, here we go. One minute. We're just going to go ahead and get started. Excuse me. I took some more emergency this morning. I'm going to try to do it probably one more day just to cover the uh, incubation period for, you know, the common cold and whatnot. So, and a daily combo. Perfect. Let me get that close by so I can grab that while I lunge. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. You're back home from Ireland. When did you get back? Pig romancing to come. 
Oh my. All right. <laughs> this is great. This is definitely anybody who, who was growing up in the early 2000s definitely did this. Have you ever tried to copy a celebrity's hairstyle? Uh, Frosted Tips was definitely one that uh, everybody did. The whole like Justin Timberlake thing. In sync. Have you ever tried to copy a celebrity's hairstyle? <clears throat> trying to think if I ever tried to copy anybody else's. I mean, I, I didn't point at a certain celebrity and be like, I want that. But I mean, everybody got influenced by the Frosted Tips. Not even the Rachel, really? Spiked my hair all the time when I was a kid. Who were you? Were you trying to go for like the in sync look? Backstreet Boys, something like that. There's one minute. But yeah, like I said, I don't know if I necessarily copied somebody directly, but three, two, one, go. I definitely, I definitely uh, got like the frosted. They weren't just frosted tips. It was basically like bleaching the whole top of your hair. That was a very cool thing to do when I was uh, when I was a kid. So I did that. Um. <clears throat> Our was it our wrestling team? But was it was that in middle school or high school? I don't know if we had a wrestling team in middle school, but um, <clears throat> they would if they qualified for state, they would bleach their entire hair, like their whole head. So they went full like Slim Shady, um, which was which was kind of a, a cool thing. And then I remember I I bleached like just the top of my hair because that was uh, that was also a thing. And some of them are like, well, do you think you went to state for wrestling? And I was like, no, I just did this because I like it. Hair was too difficult growing up to style any real nice way. Last night was four hours late, though, because the plane needed repairs. There's one minute. All right, last set. Three, two, one, go. Oh, hang on. Go. Last night was four hours late though because the plane needed repairs and the taxi took a while. Dang. Don't think I knew who InSync was. Really? Uh, I guess you are, you are younger, a little younger than me, Jard. And by a little, I mean I'm freaking ancient. <laughs> repairs, yeah. Can't say I did. Dante from Devil May Cry, but actual living celebrity, no. <laughs> Either, well, I, I guess we can extend that. Did you ever point at a picture of somebody and say, this hairstyle, anybody, real, fictional, anybody in between? In between? How are you in between? I don't know. I just can't think clearly because my legs are on fire. Hairstyle is a blonde in the summer. Yeah. And by a little, you went to high school with dinosaurs. Pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. That's one minute. Oh, man. Woo. That one burned. That one burned for sure. All right. We got one more. One more. Three, two, one, go. All right. Yeah. I, I'm trying to think of what other what other hairstyles were cool. I mean, it wasn't so much like hairstyles. Yeah. The super like spiked hair was definitely a thing. Um, there was this really weird hairstyle, too, uh, that was pretty common when I was in uh, middle school, which was basically to, like, you might spike your hair a little bit back here, but then the bangs, you would basically just put straight out, or you, you might, like, fluff them up a little bit, and then they would kind of, like, go out like this off of your forehead. Not a good look, um, but we did that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any others. Go on Super Saiyan 2. Hair is pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know too many people that are rocking that though. Too much talk about my age right now. Is there? Weird Al is real and in a lot of cartoons, so is he in the in the between? He might be. There's one minute. Ooh, dang. Dang. Well, did you have Weird Al hair? Who had the Weird Al? You walk into your barber and you're like, yeah, I'll take the Weird Al, please. Please take, I'll take the Weird Al. Kirk! Dude! 
dude. My goodness, Kirk. Can we get some can we get some big old cheers up in the chat, everybody? Kirk, how are you today? What an entrance. Holy crap. Cheers. Hello, beautiful Kirk. And I mean and I mean beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful Kirk. How are you, dude? Holy crap, you got Jar Jar Joel, Canis Hag, uh, Rubus 3 Maraud, Predator 77, and no Noctwalk Live. Noctwalked? I, I always forget how to say that. Nightwatch is what I was told to say, I remember. The way I almost quit that last one, but I didn't. <laughs> We talked about a ton in Spooky's VC last night. Well, what's the point of being a somebody to get tagged if nobody's going to use the tag? I'm good. How are you, Lady Iron? Hello, Lady Iron. I'm I'm doing all right, Kirk. My legs are a little uh, burning right now, thanks to the lunges, but doing all right. Doing all right. It's a hard hairstyle to rock. We take a full bottle of gel or more or more. Yeah. And you need hair probably down to, I'd say at least down to your chest. You need it to come down here and then uh, all the way up. Be uh, pretty difficult. And you're going to need lots of bleach too. I don't know anybody that has hair that's quite that color most of the time. Even, even like blondes uh, are not quite that blonde, you know? Mostly. Some are. I did do Paul Phoenix's hair one time. You did? Yeah, so the reason we're talking about hair, the question of the day was, did you ever copy any celebrity hairstyles? Um, and uh, I said, you know, I knew a lot of people that did kind of the Justin Timberlake. But um, but, uh, but other than that, we just kind of had, we had hairstyles that I don't know where they came from. They maybe came from a celebrity. Um, but, uh, but I didn't really know. I mean, I guess, like I said, maybe, maybe the wrestling one where they dyed their whole hair, maybe that could have been influenced by Slim Shady. It's possible, but I don't, I don't know for sure that nobody ever came out and said it. It just was like, yeah, we, we bleach our hair when we qualify for state. That's all. That's all that I ever knew. So got to head up for now. I'm on the road with Steph and my aunt for Steph's docs doctor appointment. Take care all crystal. Have a great day. I hope Steph's appointment goes well. Be safe out there. One day soon I'll be rocking the Je the Jean Luc Picard. <laughs> Won't we all? Won't we all? Morning DJ EP. That's great. I meant I used to get frosted tips by being outside in the summer. Only went dark blonde. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's so funny. Uh, Mrs. Magoots's older brother. One year, uh, his hair went kind of like red during the summer. And we gave him so much crap, like, dude, what did you put in your hair to make it go red? And he's like, nothing. I didn't do anything to my hair. And we just kept saying every time we just be like, okay, okay, dude, sure you didn't, you know? And then, um, and then his wife, like we actually talked to her somewhere recently. We mentioned it again and she's like, yeah, he really didn't put anything in his hair. It was so funny. It was just one summer. His hair went kind of red. The dude from Tekken. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. My dad rocked the Picard. <laughs> Headed out. Have a great morning, everyone. Nander, good luck at the dentist. I'm sure it'll go great. Um, and here's the other thing. I don't know if, I don't know how tied you are to this dentist, but, you know, uh, not all dentists are the same. So whoever, whichever dentist puts you most at ease, go with that one. Uh, because they really are, uh, like I found a great dentist and it's, uh, I'm always confident when I go in there, confident that they're doing the right thing. Of course, I still have that, you know, little bit of anxiety that we get, but everything will go great. <laughs> My dad rocked the Picard. <laughs> uh, Dennis, I have is really great. My wife has been going for years. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, then everything's great. And I know it. Bye. Dog, I'm going to freaking lose it. Wait, what's the matter, Jard? What's the matter? Uh-oh. What happened? All right, friends. Let me find... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot the icon. 
The icon for Pigromance is pretty good. Here, let me see if I can screenshot it. Trying to buy new magic cards and scalpers are jacking the prices. I bet they are. Aha! GTFO, Timon. All right, let me show you guys this. You guys might find this to be kind of funny. I'll share it in the Discord as seen. You fool! You fool! Big romance. Big romance. Big romance. What does pig romance mean? And yes, when I click on it, it does put the E on the next line. That's why I put that like that. All right. Big Romance. Launching it, baby. Oh, wait. There's an update? Oh, there's an update. Boosters want to play the magic cards with cute animals. I just want to play. <laughs> What uh what kind of what kind of cards are you trying to find? Is it a certain set? And I guess I should say uh keep in mind I'm asking this but I don't really know much about magic. I've discovered that TCGs are just not really for me. The new set, Bloomborough. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. We'll go over here. I think this was a, an okay spot for it. Yo, Quinn! Hello! Excuse me? Pig romance? <laughs> Quinn, how are you? Quinn, I saw... Are you starting... Uh, well, it said that you were... I, I noticed you were on first playthrough, Baldur's Gate 3. How, uh, how far into the game are you? Also on my first playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3. Oh yeah, this is a controller game. I totally forgot. Totally forgot. Ooh, that's a fun song. All right. Still in Act 1, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, no worries. Uh, Quinn's been killing Baldur's Gate 3. That's very cool. I just finished Act 1 at, well, you know, last time I, I played, which I realized was March 19th was when I finished Act 1. Um, I just started Act 2 yesterday. But I took a break in between the acts because it took me like, I don't know how many, how many sessions of, of play to get to through Act 1, but it was a lot. It was a lot. I had a lot of fun though. Like it's been, it's been such a great game for me, but, um, but there were a lot of, the thing is, is like, it's just a, such a heavy game. There were a lot of other games that I hadn't got to play uh, in the meantime. So, oh hey, Pocket! Thank you so much, Pocket Ninja. How you doing? Cheers. Cheers. I left my love unintentionally in a cave for an entire hour last night. Oh no! <laughs> Poor Carlac. So what? Um, what happened? Did you split the party? Or did she just get stuck? Good morning, crew. How you doing? How you doing, Pocket? How have you been? How how are things? Holy crap! That is a gigantic emote. <laughs> oh my gosh! The old the old gold cheers. It is old gold because uh, that's the old cheers emote, and it's gold. Had no idea how to read this game title, but Pig Romance was not what I was expecting. I to be honest. Pigromance. I don't know how to say it. Um, there's uh, there's a bit of magic in here, so we we do believe that it's a uh, it's necromance. It's a combination of pig 
and necromance, not just regular romance. But uh, but maybe it, I think it has it might have a dual meaning, you know. Better be gigantic. It cost me 30 bits. <laughs> that's true. Yes. I almost forget that that's a thing. Cheers, Kirk. Thank you for the 30 gold coins to the for the giganto gold cheers mug. Soon it'll be just it'll be life size, you know. I think it's meant to be like pig romancy. Yeah, I think so too. Think what happened was she failed to save on the web and I teleported to Blighted Village, then went adventuring and didn't realize it, it until almost an hour later. But you were able to get her back? You've been okay. Been migraine, big migraine today since the hurricane remnants are coming through, but managing. Are you, um, are you safe? Everything, uh, everything in your area is safe? I was keeping an eye on the radar for Kirk. Um, seemed like it, seemed like it missed Kirk pretty much entirely, so I was, I was thankful for that. She was fine with the spider corpses. <laughs> Controlling pigs. Totally safe. Uh, it's just rain at this point. You're romancing and killing pigs. There is a lot of pig death in this. Uh, it's very cartoonish, though. Like, extremely cartoonish. Um, uh, yeah. Nova! Hello! Hello! Oh! From the window! To the wall! To the wall! Took the meat spills out my hall! My hall! Oh, these blackings crawl! Crawl! Oh, ski, 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 ski! Oh, ski, ski! Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, ski, 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 ski! Oh, ski, ski! Oh, man! Oh, man! Thank you for the party, Kirk. Kirk the man. Uh, let's see, Guild, in case you haven't been told today, you're awesome, and you're awesome. Don't you ever forget you're part of that awesome. Got a little bit of wind, but that's all. That's good. Here's you, Kirk. Yeah, I was keeping an eye on it because I'm like, come on now. The last thing Kirk needs is a freaking hurricane. So, it makes me so happy every time. <laughs> that is, that is... I believe that is the first guild meme. I think it, I think if I look back on everything, that I think that has to be the, the official first meme. There was an earthquake last night for my girl. Wait, that sounds weird. I was gonna say congrats. Like, hey, congrats. It's not a laughing matter. We can refer to it as a little Debbie. <laughs> I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. Congrats. Congrats. Hey. You haven't heard a party in a while? It's been a minute. It has, yeah. There was a real earthquake outside her town. Everything okay? Yeah, I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. <laughs> I figured I figured the the way in which you were saying it when you said, "Wait, that sounds weird." I figured it meant that everything was okay. But um but I probably should ask that first. Bakersfield there was an earthquake. Oh, really? It was, a, it was, uh, small. Small. It was small. All right. Pig romance to try to catch you guys up on what happened because, uh, there is no dialogue in this game. All right. Just so you know, this is, this is based, it, it was based entirely on what we were seeing happen. Uh, I was running around in the pig pen. Uh, the big scary farmer guy came in, um, and basically just started chopping pigs. And, uh, I escaped with another pig, which, uh, was presumably my, my pig lover. And, uh, we were escaping together. We ended up getting separated as we were escaping through the pig factory. And my pig love was, uh, pig cut in half. And so, um... Her parts were uh, were shipped throughout the facility, and I collected a diagram, which I put in my stomach for some reason, and um, I'm trying to figure out how to put my pig love back together uh, by eating her parts that were scattered throughout the pig factory, and maybe I maybe my true pig love uh, for her will bring her back. I'm not really sure how that part's going to work out, but... Um, 
you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now, that's that's what we got. Wait, which of these was it? You can see the art from this though. These are these are various save states. Yeah, there there's my pig love. My pig love and I were working together. We were off to go get some pig love in and uh we we didn't make it. Well, she didn't make it. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's where I left off. Here's where I left off, I think. I was definitely I had the bird. Let's load this. This is interesting. Uh maybe not the most intuitive loading system because there's no times on here. I think maybe you just like uh, time of day and date. Well, that would be handy. Just so you know which one is the most recent. In this case, I know it's this one, but um, not the most intuitive. Omina, hello. Professor. I was just talking about you. I was saying Professor reached out to me immediately after the 1500. Did not spoil it, but one of my athletes did before I got the chance to, to look it up. So... Um, does anybody care if we talk about the 1500? Does anybody care? Has anybody not seen it that, uh, that wants to? I realize it is kind of tough to talk about it, so... Or, uh, it's tough to keep up with everything. Please do spoil it, or please... Um, I care. <laughs> I had spoilers. Uh, she said she felt it, which is odd to me. That's super far away. Wait, hang on a second. Oh, the, the earthquake. In San Diego. Omina, how are you having a good day so far? One of my girls in San Diego felt nothing but one did weird. It was yesterday, so it is fair game. I'm JK, I don't know sports. I know I know you don't. <laughs> Although you got pretty into tennis when you were watching that. Wait. Okay, go. <laughs> the updates to Baldur's Gate 3 romances have changed a lot. Ha uh, please tell me I'm not in the Baldur's Gate 3 category today. I, I double checked. But I just don't know if I trust tw uh, Twitch at this point. I've often been told by women that they felt nothing. Aww. Aww. I forgot about the grunts. Oh, a second bird. Take a piece of pork. Okay. Listen to their little wings flap there. We drop it over here. Oh, wait a minute. No, I did do this puzzle. Okay, so I didn't get to a new save point. Okay. All right. Uh, but when I pause, you can see, I wonder if the pause menu has been fixed yet. It was really poorly optimized. You can see here behind the text, there's like a, a, it's a, that's the stomach. And then there's a piece of paper back there with like a pig drawing on it. And then there are two, well, three actual pig parts floating over the top of that. This is presumably how I'm putting my love back together. Um, you can see there are bits of sausage, which is just a little bit concerning. Uh, floating around in the stomach, which were there when I first started collecting things. So that's kind of interesting. Good game of tennis we watched. Excuse me, Twitch, can you not bug out? I need loots on as morning background. Was it a problem? Are we good? The last 200 was crazy. Yeah, so, so spoilers for anybody that hasn't seen the 1500. Uh, the person who ended up winning was Cole Hawker, and he is from Indianapolis, Indiana. He is from Indianapolis, Indiana, um, which was just wild. I um, I kind of joked about it. I mean, and don't don't get me wrong. Like I I I did feel like he could win, but he definitely was not the favorite to win, um, which meant that there were other people that were definitely more more likely to win, just based on their on their best times and whatnot. Um, their experience and all that and uh, ended up being the guy that is from where I live um, I watched him race in high school. I cheered him on at um, Dude, he ran at the he ran at my track before he ran at our um, He he ran at the track that I uh, like our home track. Hiya! I made it Do I want to be up here though on the ice? I don't know if I do Okay, I don't remember how to take control. Okay, Y is how you take control of the bird. All right. Oh, there's a... Oh, I didn't go this way before. Oh, broke the glass ceiling? Anyway, uh, yeah, it was an amazing last 200. Um, the thing was is, had he not got bo Like, it was such a, such a wild thing because he got boxed in. He gave a little shove. 
just to like be like, oh man, stay out. You know, he's got to try to stay upright. You know, so he gave a little bit of a shove, which is totally legal. Um, but it's also kind of wild to think that if he hadn't gotten boxed in like that, he would have won by more because he just looked so much stronger than everybody else at that point. Um, and then additionally, he passed on the inside. It was inside. I didn't think for a second that uh, Ingebrigtsen was going to let him get the inside. But he was so worried about Kerr, he didn't even consider Hawker. So it was just like such a gamble, but my God, did it pay off. Yeah, stay on the rail. Can't open the door like that. Not at all. He, but he was trying, he was doing that, you know, they call it gamesmanship, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he was drifting out to try to make things tougher for Kerr. But dude, you opened the door, you know? Absolutely opened the door. All right, so I guess we need to take the bird. I'm trying to remember how I solved this puzzle last time. But I already solved this, so we'll uh, we'll cut this out of the recording. Um, there was a piece of pork somewhere. They can go in the acid, but uh, they die within about three seconds. Okay, here's the pork. All right, do we want to put it... Let's see, can I take it through here? I can, okay, for what it's worth. But let's just transfer it to the other side. Did that do it? No. Gabby, hi, hi. How are you doing today? I was lurking on you for a little while last night, playing some Kingdom Hearts. I should have said, I need to at least say hello. Um, when I lurk, I usually, oh, look, I can draw a nice infinity pattern here. <laughs> That's pretty fun. All right, anyway. Um, okay, those are going to go back down there. What did I do to push the ice along to the next one? There was... I can make this this piece here move, but I don't remember what I did for that. Was it... It didn't have anything to do with that one. I sure was. I'm finishing it tonight. Heck yeah. You excited? Also, how many more... Uh, how many more of those do you have? Not how many more. How... how yeah, how many, how many more Kingdom Hearts are there? The play. Oh, there's this. I forgot about this little path. This is what I need here. Oh, shoot. That pushed the ice along. Okay, I might have broken this puzzle. Did I break the puzzle? The ice is supposed to stay down here, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Shoot. Does this door open? No. Jakob trying to take it out fast like that and burn himself out. Read too many of his own press clippings. My gosh. Yeah, the, the announcers kept talking about the drama between Inga Britson and Kerr. And I was like, I don't know the drama. I was hoping that they would get more into it. But they didn't. They just said, yeah, lots of words between these two. I'm like, like what? What words? Please. I got to know. Because Cole Hawker is about to put them all to rest. Oh, shoot, did I try this? Does this, this might reset it up here. Let's try that. Let's try that. How is the quake felt in San Diego, but not in my town? I'm like smack in between Bakersfield and San Diego. Yeah, like the, the Bay Area, right? That's, that's your classic Bay Area. Uh, shoot, I did I mess this up? I don't know. Let's go put this on the uh, the top platform here. Because I don't think the ice was supposed to end up above. Above the platform, but it did. Americans go 135 in the 1500 meter. Incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And and the thing is, is like... Um, Yared was only... Is it Yared or Jared? I actually don't know. But Nagoose was... He was like... He was 0.01 out of the silver, too. So that's the thing is like... Almost makes you wonder if Cole could have made his move sooner. Would, yeah, Yard. Okay, it's Jard. <laughs> would uh, I forgot? It is with a Y. Yeah, five more meters to one silver. Maybe even just one more meter. Honestly, like if Cole was able to make his move sooner, if he didn't get boxed in like that, would 
Would we have one, two, five? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that is new. Yeah, I never, I never used that lever before. Okay. Never did. Okay, so what does this mean for us, though? It means that this, this piece should be able to raise higher now, right? Wait a minute, how did my pig get down there? Oh, he got pushed off. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's go through here. Set this down there. That's supposed to push the ice blocks through, but the ice blocks are kind of stuck right now. Let's, the pig is safe here. Jan, hello, hello. Good morning. What was uh, what was the button up by the broken window at the top? I got that right. That was that was the one you were asking about. What's this, Woodsy? Good morning, Woodsy. Cheers. Cheers to you, Woodsy. How you been? Good morning. Thank you so much for that. Twenty-eight months. My gosh. Uh, this was the last game. You just have some small DLC. Are you going to play the DLC, Gabby? All right. How do we get these ice blocks down here for you, considering they're now on that platform? Hmm. I sort of sort of messed this up. I never yelled at the TV. I was yelling at the TV. That yeah, that was just so cool. Yeah. It's just it's it's wild to think. Like I seriously, I've watched this. I've watched that kid in person in high school running cross country meets um he ran like i said he ran on my he ran on the track uh the school that i coach at i like we have a we have a, a meet that he came and competed at he ran the 800 then he also ran the four by four um i think they gave him a break from they they basically treat he was an elite athlete in high school too right so like it was one of those things where he he had his events mixed up all the time based on whatever his training was he ran like a 152, um, 800 all alone, you know, um, and then ran, you know, a sub 50 on the four, four by four all alone. Um, all right, push this button again. That's going to push that other plat. Yeah. I don't want that actually. I don't want that. Let's, I think I'm gonna have to do these back to back here. So now I need to raise, I need, I'm leaving the pork over there. Did you know that Yard was into bowling in high school and on the bowling team? His PE teacher convinced him to do track based on his mile time in gym class. Love that. Love that. Because, um, yeah, it's tough. Like, sometimes trying to recruit kids to to do track can be tough. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's a great one there because you're like, uh, did you know that... Did you know that, uh, you know, even Olympians sometimes didn't start out doing track? So you should do track. I think I just got an idea here. Let's move that back over here. He did win Foot Locker. Yeah, he sure did. Love seeing some of the pics Coro posted. Sad I couldn't make it. We did miss you, though. Uh, was it this one moves that lever? Which one is it that raises this platform underneath me? Is it? Oh, it's this, right? No. Where is that? Where is that one at? I'm trying to remember. Sad I finished, uh, but already also ready to play new stuff. What do you uh, What do you got coming up? And it's okay if you don't want to share that either. Doesn't that? Oh, okay. I'm dumb. That that moved exactly the platform I I needed it to. Now it goes up here. Does it go up here because it gets blocked? No, it goes up here just because that's the that's the top. Okay. So now what we got to do is make sure we need to make sure that the the gate at the in the acid is. Okay, that one's pushing. Okay. I think this is what we want. 
So all we need to do is just push the uh, the horizontal one to the side. All those cubes will slide down that ramp there back into the acid. All right, I think. Let's, let's try to get down there to see it. Okay, so then they should have been pushed off of the platform. Yep, and then they would have went around over here. And down. Okay. Yep, they're in the water now. Okay, so they don't go low enough. You can see there's some steam over here that's trying to push them uh, to the right. So I have to use the platform on top of the cubes. I'm glad they built in a... Uh, a fail safe for somebody getting ahead of themselves like I did. All right, so now we need this. Uh, oh shoot, this isn't the way that I go to get over there. The platform underneath me, okay. Love how stinky this pork is. Look how stinky, leaving the trail like that. Dog, I keep thinking you're talking about me, sorry. <laughs> I'll say Nagoose, how's that? That's his last name. did it again. Woman who won the road cycling race did rowing at Harvard. She started cycling by taking a, a cycling class in Central Park after she graduated high school. Man, Harvard's kind of where it's at. Like, Gabby Thomas is from Harvard. I actually, um, I, I've actually listened to several talks from her college coach. Okay, so now those should be... Oh, okay. Are those cubes over here now or no, there's another is there another platform? Dang, there's so many different things. What does this do? Okay, that pushes them over here. Perfect. Alright, so now the pig will be able to cross over here. Gosh. Once we get over there, I'm trying to think, was there a reason to be anywhere else? Or should I have lowered that platform first? Probably not. Um, but yeah, like I, I so her coach in, in college was Mark Mark Mangicotti, um, and I've I've listened to a lot of I've listened to several talks of his um, at like some virtual uh, coaching conferences. Um, I've actually used a lot of his stuff in my own training too, um, and uh, so that's that's been pretty cool as well. Gabby Swoon. Rowing at Harvard is a thing. It's crazy. I believe it. Like, seriously, Harvard's killing it. Um, okay. I'm trying to think of how this will help me here. That's going to lower them. Is that what we want? We will want that at the next level. Wait, bird can't get through here? Does it have to be pig? I don't remember. Okay, the 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 blocks now are below the water. Which is that what we want? No, we don't want that. We just want the pig to be able to cross here. I don't I think this might just be I don't know if it's just a nothing puzzle, but it's not that's not what we want. <laughs> Gabby, prof <laughs> that's funny. Gabby uh, swoon and then Gabby says professor and then professor says Gabby. <laughs> Sorry, Gabby, there are two Gabbies. There are two Gabbies. Which Final Fantasy? Oh, wait, hang on a second. Did I miss that? I'm going to play Elden Ring for a bit and then start on Final Fantasy. Nice. Have you ever played a Souls game? Hiya! All right. I remember doing this. Yeah, I don't remember what was up there, but I guess I don't really care. Oh, it just takes me over. It might have been the slightest shortcut, which is fine. This is good. Thank you. 
This is the spider pig, which is pretty great. You can just clamp on to whatever you're standing on. A friend of mine is the former cross country ski coach at Harvard. Was able also was able to meet the current coach, who is a former Olympian. That's super cool, especially considering you you do skiing yourself. Oh, one of them looks icy. I'm gonna jump on this one. Oh, okay. Except I didn't jump. <laughs> The button didn't let me jump there. Let's jump on the icy one, see what happens. Hmm. Oh, there's a whole timing to this because, okay. Spider pig, spider pig does whatever a spider pig does. Oh, I see. I, I see. <laughs> Yeah, so if you're on the if you're on the icy one, uh, you're probably not gonna be able to hold on to it while it's upside down. And then if you're too low on the platform, you're also gonna get frozen solid. Which isn't ideal. Oh, and then that one's all ice over there, so you gotta jump. Wow. Okay, it went faster than the camera. Uh oh. Okay, I'm holding on. Do I get off? Do I jump here? I'm going to hang on for a little bit longer. I don't see where that's supposed to take me. Oh, this is a dead end, isn't it? Well, that. That kind of sucks. Ad quote, we oh I thought the ad quote did work like that. Maybe it has to be would it have to be a mod? Oh that that ice was moving. The little death screen cracks me up. Okay, it does move. But where does it move to? And will this thing sink eventually? Because it seems like it's gonna sink. Oh gosh, piggies! The pigs are going to weigh me down. Oh, gosh. No. <laughs> Why are they just throwing the pigs in acid? I don't get it. I don't. Un oh, no. It's your first Souls game. Oh, man, that's cool. That'll be cool. Loving the staycation week. You could definitely be a stay-at-home dog mom. I was half listening. Oh, you're good. You're good. It is just funny. There, there's two guys. So Gabby with a Y is is in reference to Gabby Thomas. She's a professional sprinter uh, who just won the the gold medal uh, in the 200 meter dash yesterday. Um, Gabby with an I. That's you. Okay. I need to. Do I need to use the bird? Okay, that's not open. Maybe I can go up here. Nope, I'm getting stuck on pigs. Okay. I am not sure what I need to do. Do pigs, pigs come out of there? I'm not sure what I need to do. I Maybe I need to... Hmm. Okay. There's a pipe up there as well. I wonder how you get up there. All right, we'll try to get out ahead of this as soon as I can. All right, there's got to be some sort of off switch or something for these pigs. Yeah, I just keep getting stuck on pigs or else these are invisible walls. Uh, this is going to be another death here. So I'm going to have to fly over here. Oh, there are ice cubes. Okay, I got to get to these ice cubes. Okay, how do I do that? Pro cannot pick up the, the pig. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to message you on Discord. Let's 
see. Pigs on acid. Can you push them off? Ooh. I should try that. Yeah, I, I, maybe I can push them off. Let's try that first. I've been playing Souls games for years with some of my all-time faves. She sounds amazing. Been playing 14 MMO for the past three plus years, but I've been playing... Yeah, Professor's on to something here. I have to press the button to grab the pig, but I can throw them off. Oh, we still took a crack. Good call, Professor. You saved the day. Oh. Uh-oh. That guy's coming to push more ice in. That's not going to... Oh, wait. Is the acid... The acid is going down. Okay, I got to jump off of this. Nice. Okay. Woo! Good call. Every pig for themselves. Yeah, what Prof said, push and pull them off. It's so... So sad. I'm doing a lot of pig sacrifice to find my pig love. Uh, let's see. Past Ripple Series been playing the series from 1998. Uh, push them off. Miyakazi is uh, one of my all one of my favorite fantasy writers ever. Gabby, I hope you love the game. Bro, I wish Crow could pick them up, but yeah, Crow can only pick up uh, pieces of pig, not whole pig. It's over here. Oh, oh, there's pig snout down there. I need that. Okay. So do I need to like, I probably can't go in here. Yeah. All right. We got to get, we got to get acid lower than it currently is. Maybe bird can help. Hmm. I'm guessing even being here will kill me. Maybe not, though. Oh, okay. Okay. This is a flat surface here. We want to melt this, but why do we want to melt it? What does it do when it gets... Oh, it's a steel brick. Okay. Okay. So in theory, it'll, it'll now, it won't float. And maybe there's a button down there or something. There is a button down there. Aha. All right. Uh, played a few here and there, but I think the most recent was Rebirth. I want to play the storyline fully. Wait, which one was that? Was that Final Fantasy? Talking about the new Final Fantasy VII series. I want to tell more about that because I'm not sure what you mean. Oh, yeah, which rocks so hard. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I've never played... I've, I've never played a Final Fantasy game. Never ended up playing. What do we got over here? Okay, it's bird time. Remake, reunion, rebirth. Where are we flapping this bird to? Is this... Okay, this is back to the pig factory area. Okay, I don't feel like we need to go this far back, do we? We need something that'll melt this next ice block. Or, yeah, those are not part of the story here. We need... Didn't I have a... Maybe I didn't have another ice block. Okay, let's have the bird fly through. Oh, can bird pick it up? Aha! All right, but bird's got to go a different way. That's heavy enough to open the gate. Interesting. All right, now check this out, everybody. We're going to get the pig snout. We eat it. Oh, wait, it wasn't the... Wait, what? Didn't we already have that piece? Hang 
on a second. Didn't we already have that? I thought we had three out of five pieces. What is happening? Lex! Hey! <laughs> ew. Professor just says ew. Lex, how are you? My goodness. Um, I would tell you what was happening if I knew. Um, I have suspicions, but I don't have actual answers. I don't have actual answers. Um, here's what I suspect. Here's what I suspect. Because there is no dialogue in this game whatsoever, alright? Um, I'm playing as this pig. You can see I'm already lined up to be dissected. Um... I escaped the clutches of the evil farmer man who was going to chop me into pieces. Um, I escaped with my pig love, and um, but not far enough. At some point, she was she was she was cut up right in front of me, and so um, I believe this is my quest to put her back together um, so that we can uh, we can get on to making some pig babies. I think that's what's I think that's what's happening. But to be honest, I don't know. There's no dialogue. Yeah, I'm doing great. Glad to hear that. Really glad to hear that. Uh, right, okay. I had to use a pig. Well, I might be able to do something else. Is this? Aha, that's something the bird's good for. Okay. I wonder if hey, that's only a temporary shutdown. Let's find out. Or it's maybe one at a time. No, it's a, it's just a, it's an off button. Okay. All right. Can't go in there. Okay. Wait, I should probably look over here. I could have sworn I had that piece, though. The back? I thought I did. What is this doing over here? I don't know. Wish I could fly a little faster as the bird. Can the bird open those doors? Uh, no. The only people that can open, as far as I know, the only people that can open these doors that go, like, straight back are the humans. That's the only ones I know of so far. I've not been able to open one of those. Making jello? Yeah, maybe they are. There is an acid. Like, we just escaped an acid pit. So, but that doesn't quite look like... doesn't quite look the same color. All right. Well, I guess we're on to the next room. Yeah, I haven't been able to show you guys the farmer, the, the, the scary farmer man in a while. Okay. Before I jump down there. Or well. Shoot. My jump didn't work. Oh, no. Hello, Spooky, my dear. How you doing? How are you? You guys all settled? Oh, okay. That flame was not there last time. Okay, yeah, I can't jump over here. So we got to push the box down here. All right. Uh, that do something? That did nothing. Is there a steel box somewhere? Can't go up those stairs. Okay. I think Bird's, Bird's going to have to figure this one out for us here. You became crispy bacon. A uh, super crispy bacon. Uh, let's see. What do I need to do then, game? Please, do tell. Maybe I need to reset this scene here. I can't go back, right? I can't go back. I don't see anything else I can interact with. Um, go ahead and jump down here. Spooky bacon. Spooky bacon was good. Okay. How should I use that? How do I use it? And why does this door not care about me? Spooky has good pork. Oh my. <laughs> Good find 9 for PlayStation that I forgot for years and now I have it on Steam. So I haven't played it to the end. Spooky, miss you, buddy. I'm getting there. I had a hard time these first couple days back working up the motivation to get packing. Yeah, I feel that. My lady iron. It was. I've never had bacon baked in the oven. I'll always put it in a pan. I I've I don't cook bacon like ever. 
Um, but that was a great texture, I'll be honest. Um, I'm one of those, I think we've, we've, we've definitely discussed this on, on stream before, but how do you like your bacon? And for everybody, okay? This, this question's for anybody. How do you like, like, what texture do you like your bacon at? Because for me, I don't know if there's such a thing as underdone bacon. Um, like when I, my ideal bacon is you pick it up off the plate and it just kind of flops down to like the plate. You know, it's just like, that's cool with me. Um, I prefer it that way. But uh, flimsy with maybe just a little crisp. Of the okay, so Lex, we're like, we're like the same then. We're like the same. Yeah, I definitely want mine to be flimsy. If it's if it if you pick it up off the plate and it just is like a plank, not for me. I'll eat it. I, I mean, there's you know, I'll still eat it, but it's it's not my favorite. Okay, is there some way I can interact with these like gears or something? I'm trying to press buttons with the bird, but nothing's happening. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Are these buttons pressable? Nope. Can't do any of those. Anybody see anything that I should use? There is a lift in the back, but I don't see any way to influence that. How do I like bacon? Yes, please. All the bacon. That's... Honestly, I'm kind of the same way. Like, like I said, I'll still eat the the like super crispy bacon, but it's not my favorite. Okay, what did that change in the room other than making more fire? There's got to be something it did, right? Did that? Did I? I did try it before, right? I went across. Okay, it lowered that platform down there on the other side, but why do I care? I prefer mine to hold some form. Watching qualifying round for the men's 5K. Big falls during the heat. Wait, for real? Crispy with some flop. I do turkey bacon in the air fryer. Turkey bacon's pretty good. Slightly crispy. That's why oven bacon is the best bacon. Bacon bacon. As we talked as we talked about. Crispy yet chewy. Restaurant bacon. Some crisp, some chew. Super crisp. Gabby's into the super crispy bacon. Crisp on the edges. I like that though. Uh, yes, please. Bacon. I like bacon. All the fat is rendered, but the meat is still tender. Also, cooked bacon cold from the fridge is also good. That's true. Cold bacon is pretty good. I won't eat super crisp, though, uh, but that's a texture thing for myself. Bookie, I hold some for him, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I do not understand what I'm supposed to do. What if I let the bird burn? Okay, it's the same thing as a game over. Making bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. It seems like I should be able to use these stairs, but how do I... How do I do that? Like, I could push the box uh, over there, maybe... But I don't know how I'd get it up onto this platform. I seem to be stuck. I would eat it if it was burnt. Can I grab... I can't grab the box from above. Hmm. What if I go down with the box? No, it immediately... I did that before. I did that the first time. Immediately burn. Sword bear! Hello! Spub it! How's uh, ex-wife romance going? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, ghost. I love you, dude. Um, it's I'm stuck. I'm not sure what to do. Massive fall men's 5K heat. Who, who fell? Anybody I might know? Word strong. Many talk good. Can't believe I got a real life sortie hug. Same. Same. Although I should. Where I know we're not super far from each other, but... Um, yeah. Sword brother! We'll see after this meeting. Yeah, fair enough. Merkins went through to the next round. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, let's 
let's see am i forgetting some sort of element to the game this just immediately gets destroyed but it does press the button the button uh seems to did it destroy the ice as well is that what happened Oh, it lowers the acid on the other side. Okay. So that'll be important. But how is it important? Because this door won't open for us. I don't know. I'm stuck. I can't go back through this room. I don't see any way to interact with stuff. Well, that, that fire's not going out, so I'm not crawling through that. Hmm. The comment using his Harvard education to count to eight at the end sent me. <laughs> that was a good one. Omen of Gabber's blue spoops a loop. Almost doxed you, but deleted it, Ursa. <laughs> Almost doxed you. Anyone from Loot's gonna have the squad pick we took at dinner? If so, could you send it to me when I posted my Discord announcements? Uh, yeah, I can, I can text it to you. Um, also, oh, or, or there you go. Coleman sent it. Uh, we did post it in the LootsCon channel. Got you. Well, let's just everybody send one. Make sure, like, and then let us know who has the best copy. I have the best copy. Everybody loves my copy of the picture. That was my first time ever trying to do a Trump impression. How'd I do? <laughs> I just really wanted to do one because... Shorty is just amazing at his. <laughs> I was inspired. Be solid. <laughs> uh, well, shoot. Well, then I accidentally sent nor nudes to Sword Bear. <laughs> Very solid first. I'll keep working on it. Wait, should I? It's probably not the. That's probably not a, a good idea, is it? There's a room over it. No, no, I was up there before. Does anybody have any ideas on how I do this? Send, send. I was on a diff tab. I had to come back to make sure it was you. <laughs> have a warm puppers laying on my lap between me and comp table. Oh, always warm. I'm going to get close to over here without actually... I don't see anything. I love how the bird can just flip upside down. Yeah, I'm not seeing a dang thing. I feel like I should be able to influence these wheels here, but I can't. I'm pressing X. Was there another? It's just Y, right? Let me look at the other controls. Control. Frick me, I don't, I don't know what any of that means. Okay, here we go. Uh, switch character, jump, dash, and grab. Yeah, that's it. That's all the ones I've been doing. Um, okay. Uh, well, I don't know. Influence D's. I've done that to my bestest friend. Have you really? <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, no. Did that change? Had it before. Got to accept a roll. I had it before. Hmm. Uh, it shouldn't have changed. If you if you had the LootsCon roll before, it shouldn't have changed. Uh, my plan of taking your identity, buying a wig, and romancing Mercer gets compromised. Dang. What are we gonna do when uh <laughs> when Trump isn't relevant anymore? Fingers crossed. All our impressions make no sense. Yeah, see, that's that's the thing. It's that's why I'm like, eh, maybe I shouldn't, shouldn't practice it. Do we really need more? Mochi is as close to humanly puppetry possible to me. I think Lucy reconfigured the Luzcon chats at one point. Uh, I did, I did. I made, I made the, I made one of them private for just the attendees. Um, and then there was an, oh, you know what? Maybe you were on the older one. It's pot. Well, no, I thought that was the other private one with the one from last year. 
I don't know. Maybe maybe I did accidentally do something. Just a twisted trading places, and both of us are like, why does this work? Autocorrect. Lutecon roll says new, so I bet it got tweaked and I lost. Just fix that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> they were blessed. The frick you mean? The worst. Private for also to those who just hope to be there. Yeah, there's there's a there's a private one where you can get access by having the Lutecon roll. So anybody can join that one on their own. But then there was a a one that's invite only for the attendees because we talked about um just things that are coordinated that not everybody needs to know you know so like we're, we're trying to figure out how to um pay each other back for stuff um trying to figure out like where people were at and various things like that so yeah there was a there was a private one and then there was a private private one it was in one because i remember reading discussion around the airbnb channel vanished though no worries fix not weird Oh, okay. That's what it was, Sorty. I remember now. So that was the private, private one. And I think I must have, I must have taken you out of that one because I didn't realize, I didn't realize at the time that you were going to be there Saturday and Sunday. Sorry about that. So that's on me. That was the, that was the one that I didn't have a role to join. Uh, I manually added everybody. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do. Do I... Maybe I need... Was I supposed to bring something through, or... I've been just kind of running back and forth in this room for a good while now. Uh, I feel like this door is supposed to open, and it's just not. Figured I got booted since I wasn't staring at the Airbnb. Yeah, I think, I think it was just... But at the time, I, I didn't know if you were coming or not. Uh, we each keep our jobs because I'm not surviving yours. What about the private, private, private one? <laughs> Only loot's gone channel. All right, got a dip study time. I'll be lurking though. Have a good stream and day chat. You as well, Pocket. Thank you so much for joining us today. Great, great chatting with you. I joined that. A private, private channel? Would, 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 would. Um, okay, Bird's got to do something here. There's got to be something, right? Bird hasn't done anything in this room. It's just spooky feet pics. <laughs> Is there something... Like, I can go down here. I don't know might be i truly don't know i'm considering quitting to the menu and then redoing because like maybe there's maybe something didn't load that was supposed to i feel like this door is supposed to open and it's just not yeah let's try it wouldn't shock me I'm gonna start my own private Lutescon Discord with blackjack and hookers. You know what? Forget the blackjack. <laughs> Alright. Oh shoot. It is that same exact place. Maybe just a reloaded game is all it needs. Yeah, see, that's how it was the first time. That that pipe did not have did not have fire coming out of it. Okay, there's nowhere to go in it, but um, that is at least some difference. And this door is still not opening, though. Okay, but maybe... Maybe if I don't die the first time, that gets destroyed. Then does this open? Still doesn't open, it seems. Hookers and Coke. Coca-Cola. Came here to bang hookers and chew bubble gum. I'm all out of hookers. <laughs> oh, man. Of course. Yeah, Coca-Cola. I'm at a loss. I might need to... Uh, I don't even know who to consult. 
This is a this is a tough puzzle here. McDonald's Coke. Oh man, theirs is the best for sure. I think it has X. Do you think it's just extra sugar? Like what is it? Gabby gets it. Yeah, it it must be. I wonder if it's just extra sugar, but it really is better than all the other cokes. Oh, I actually know why you do. How did you how did you acquire this information? I get it. It slaps. Uh, who was playing um actually Luthcon? Cause Prof's entrance from was from that They Live movie. Um his entrance? Not cleaning the machine, so it's extra syrupy. Yeah, you do. McDonald's Sprite is like 5% Sprite and 95% jumper cables. <laughs> Their Sprite is better. You used to drive the truck? Really? So what is it? Is it is it what Ursa's saying? They just don't... They just... There's extra syrup in it? They do... Or do they get a special syrup from Coca-Cola? Uh, the syrup for their machines is stored in chilled barrels so it stays fizzier. Ooh, okay. Great movie. The Bang Hookers thing. Wasn't that Duke Nukem? They Live is a classic. I've never seen They Live. Two bubblegum and kick ass. I'm all out of bubblegum. Yeah, I do remember that line. I didn't know that's from. That's what that was from. I knew the line. Never seen the movie. Wasn't that Duke Nukem? I don't know what that was. All right, maybe if I just keep going over here. I think I might... Uh, I might see if there's a way to... F I might need to look something up. There was also an update. I wonder I wonder what they fixed. I should maybe read the release notes. Because this is... I mean, I'm stuck stuck. Like, I don't, I don't see anything I can do. Burn this movie existed at LoosCon. Now suddenly everyone's seen it right. Yeah, same. I'm a horror movie buff. With you on that. Yeah, I, I have never seen that movie. Alright, uh well this is this is weird. Let me uh let me see if I can I might kill the music, but uh Yeah, it does kill the music. Here's my dang cursor. There it is. Okay, let's go to the. Let's see if I can find the the update. Um. Pig romance. Pig romance. Read the update notes. Well, I'm just buff. <laughs> Uh, okay, okay, let's see. There was an update yesterday morning. Um, resolved an issue where the game does not start. Oh, okay. And then there was another update. Um, after launching the game after the splash screen, only the night sky appears. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I maybe need to find like a a playthrough of this level because uh Yeah, it's I'm just not I'm not getting there. Saw you in the hot tub. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, let's see. Did anybody else get stuck somewhere in the reviews, maybe? Uh, there are some bugs. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay. Uh, 
Let's see. You can run into bugs that break puzzles. In one case, the pig went invisible. In another, it lost its animation, slid on the floor instead of walking. Your platform may abruptly stop working. Bugs frequently appear when you respawn at a checkpoint after dying and do not go away even when you restart the game from the main menu. Uh, most issues can only be resolved by exiting and relaunching the game. Unfortunately, there's one that cannot be fixed. It involves a conveyor belt that can go in both directions, but when you pull the lever, the belt accelerates unnaturally, making the puzzle impossible to solve. Okay, let's try this person's recommendation. Let me kill the game. Let me kill the game and reload it. All right, we'll try that. Gabby shredded. The most buff person you'll ever see. Thought you had more than three pieces? I feel like I should have had four pieces. Because I could have sworn I already had the back. But I did, I did end up having to reload a little bit further back. So maybe... But I don't remember getting to that, that piece that I saw. That's the thing. is I, I, I remember picking up another piece, but... I don't know, it was very weird. Gabby and I, five foot tall, try not to drown in the pool and hot tub. <laughs> Guild, girly guild soup every morning, benching 600 pounds. Every hour on the hour. Gabby squats Atlas while Atlas holds the earth on his shoulders. <laughs> true. True. All right, let's reload this. If this doesn't work, I'll go back one checkpoint, and we'll see if that happens. What happened with that piece where you were lowering the acid and melting the ice block? I got that piece, but then it looked like it went into an area I already had a pig piece, but... I did get a steam achievement. So like I I don't know. Yeah, this is still not opening. I'm pretty sure I jumped down there just with the pig. And I instantly got burned. I just feel like these these metal doors here have opened just by me walking over to them um, most times. So I'm not sure what what's different. Like, there's no scanner on them. Yeah, that's just an instant roast there. Pipe has no fire right now. Yeah, that's been different. And then once I die and reload, there's fire at it. And I thought, well, maybe that's the difference. Maybe it wasn't ready before somehow. And then my death, like reloading it. When I push this down there, the fire gets bigger. And that lowers the acid on the other side. But this door still doesn't open. And nothing else around is interactable. Nothing. So I think I might try reloading a previous checkpoint because yeah I, I've tried interacting with everything over here with both the bird and the pig have not been able to figure anything out so let's try that otherwise we might just uh, we might our game might be dead we'll go to this one here I'd be like I live in Olympus stay with Hercules and Meg so I mean it makes sense Pure Force Will holds the fabric of all reality together. Well, this is... How far back did I just load a save for? Okay. Yeah, we turned off these buttons. The bird made this part much easier. Should I have had the bird go through without the pig? See, let's see. That does not open there. What's the point of that pipe, though? I can pass through here with the bird. No problemo. Is the conveyor belt supposed to be moving, or...? Let's see. I'm just on the other side of that room that I had troubles with. I was on the phone. What happened? I've been stuck. I've not been able to figure out where I'm supposed to go. Um, let's see if there's, maybe there's a way to turn on the conveyor belt and maybe the conveyor belt will somehow help. Cause this is the first time I've seen a conveyor belt just not move. Rip. Seen that cog behind the window somehow? I'm not sure. Oh, and then this is blocked off. So I can't, I can't go any further than this. Okay. Yeah, heavy arm wrestled Hercules one. And now they're becoming like Chuck Norris jokes. 
When Gabby does push-ups, she doesn't push herself up. She pushes the world down. Okay, so that door let us in. Okay, right? Okay, so maybe the bird can open this elevator. Maybe that's maybe like Coleman's point. No, none of this. None of them are opening the elevator. The pig doesn't do it. Okay, so see how this door just opened for me right here? door just open no problem and I'm back to where I was there's no fire down there as Coleman noticed last time I jump over but this door does not open I tried interacting with these no dice um, I can't do anything with the light over here the interact button or like grab, press, whatever is X. I'm pressing buttons over here. Pressing buttons on this. You ever seen a four foot 11 inch Chuck Norris? I have, yeah. You. All right, I don't, I don't know. Can the bird go through the pipe? It didn't last time I tried, but maybe that was a bug. Try it again. Nope. And I thought maybe, okay, maybe there's something down here or something, but nope. Yeah, super weird. I feel like it might be bugged out somehow. Maybe something I did earlier on, or maybe their most recent update bugged it. Um, we could try to look up a pig romance full playthrough, see if we figure something out that way. As soon as I push this over, the fire's coming back, for sure. And yeah, the cogs in the background do look like you could interact with them, but I've not been able to figure that part out, unless it takes the pig to do so. And you can't jump that high. So, yeah. Started Sons of the Force with a buddy now loots. It's so scary. Oh, my gosh. I believe it. I believe it. Did you... Uh, remind me, Wizzy, did you play the forest as well? Yeah, I wonder if something's up here, too, because it says I have two pig parts left, but I'm pretty sure I, I already had two pig parts. But then again, if we go back and watch the stream from last Wednesday, I wonder if it's only going to show two and then there's some sort of weird glitch to show a third one. Talk about a difficult game. Is it tough? Try to find a, uh, I'm going to try to find a pig romance full playthrough here. See what somebody else did to solve this. Searching pig romance is a little scary, but um, gameplay walkthrough, no commentary. It's 24 minutes. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Maybe, oh, but maybe it's. Oh, this is going to get me probably pretty close where I'm at, but not quite there. But maybe they have another uh... Maybe they have another episode. A little instruction, but I'm figuring it out now. Gotcha. Okay. It can be tough. They have a... Oh, this might have just been the demo. This might have just been the demo. Shoot. That's kind of the thing is this game, uh, not many people have played this game. That's kind of why I chose it. Oh. 
Music in this game, yeah, I know. I know. release gameplay maybe this will be it Gabby could have beat it yeah Gabby would have just probably bent this game to her will I'm trying to see if uh, I feel like all this this gameplay stuff is just from the demo not from the actual release because yeah these are yeah, I've already done all this. Just looked at it and, and, and won. <laughs> as soon as the game starts, you're like, you're not going to touch my pig love. And the farmer just backs off and you get credits. Roll credits. Yeah, there's nothing there for it. Okay, well, my friends, um, we might have a bug on our hands. We might have a bug on our hands. Because there is not an obvious way through here. And there's not a not obvious way through here either. I'm scared of my basketball sized muscles. I would be too, honestly. Can't even jump from down there. Oh, it, wait a minute. That door just opened. Did you see that? The door opened when I had both of our weights on it. So there... Oh, no. Now it just... Okay. Problem solved. Okay, so I'm glad I'm not dumb and just... It wasn't a puzzle issue. It was a bug. That door was not opening. All right. Perfect. We did it. <laughs> I don't know if me landing on top of the box was was something that oh god. Okay, we're getting sabotaged around here. What does this do? Aha! We can drive the cart. Hmm. Let's see, let's drive this cart here. Oh, there's a button there? Does that button work? No, it's just a red and a blue. Okay. Bird can go over here. Can't go in the pipe far enough, I guess? VW Factor, welcome in. Well played. Thank you. Thank you, my good friend. Um... Oh, I'm surprised the birds let me have the pork. I thought for a second I was just going to get murked. All right, that lowers that platform there. How you doing, though, WV? Or we'll just go with Factor. How's that? How you doing, Factor? Does that lower the... Oh, that turns the magnet on and off. Okay, we want it... I think we want it on right now. I don't think the bird can use the cart, though. Oh, it seems like it you can push it a little bit. Can't do much else. Okay. So then this piece of pork here, is this actually useful over here? How do I get our pig friend up there? We can go here and jump. Aya. Okay. Let's move over here. Then we'll go take this back over here. Gabby can see John Cena. <laughs> Even when he does this. Whatever's good. Gotcha, gotcha. Have you played this before, Factor? Pig Romance? Or have you heard of it or anything? Wife and I have just been watching you play this silly game. This game is very silly. I'm glad, I'm glad it's not... It was bugged, but I'm glad it's not, like, stuck. Um, I'm glad that Raid will continue on, because I really want to see how this game ends. Um, and it's funny, I, I actually, the very first puzzle I started with today, it already solved uh, the last time I played, but I didn't quite get to a checkpoint, I guess. There's a... 
Wow, that's just cruel. Oh my gosh. That is cruel. Okay, well. Let's lower that. Oh, we gotta keep this one raised here. First experience, very cool. How'd you how'd you end up finding me? Fun fact, so can and did. Uh, John Cena gave me the bro nod in Denver while housing a burrito. Wait, <laughs> um, how how did this happen? That's insane, yeah, John Cena wishes he could. All right, we're gonna drop this here, get our little pig friend, and then, uh, okay, we'll have... Oh, that's weird. Gotta lower that there. Okay. Jump over here. I guess it'd be nice if the bird kind of stayed put. I get why it doesn't, but uh, it'd be nice if it did. Jump over here. Wife has followed you for some time. Oh, really? Oh, back in the green hell days? Oh, my goodness. Green hell. Cheers. Thank you so much for that follow factor. Hope you're having a great day. Green Hell, man. I honestly, I honestly really enjoyed Green Hell. I didn't at first, but I just kind of, I, I got kind of stubborn with it. I, I stuck with it, and I'm really glad I did because the storyline was definitely intriguing. Had a good time with it. Uh, went to a rooftop burrito bar. John Cena walked in. No one recognized him, which is weird because that's a massive man. I did, though, and didn't bug him, and we shared a knowing glance. That's pretty cool. Um, I... Well, John Cena's more famous than, um, than Rob Ryan, but, um... I said, I said, um, hello to Rob Ryan one time. Um... I don't know why I went on the other side of this. Okay, so we need this. I'm glad that's magnetic. And what are we going to do with it now, though? What should we do with this? Do we need to raise this more? No, we need to push this over here. Okay, there's a platform right there. We can turn the magnet off. That lowers the acid. Mm-hmm. Does it lower it all the way down? It does. Perfect. Love Green Hell. At first, it sucked. Yeah, the story was great. We just had the day off and chill in a bed. Very cool. Well, seriously, appreciate that. It reads like a copy pasta. It does, yeah. So your BFFs now, right? They are, yeah. Yeah, one time Rob Rob Ryan was uh, was walking through a mall that I was in, and uh, my boss was with me. He's like, wait a minute, is that... Is that Rob Ryan? And I looked, and I'm like, yep. And he's walking right towards us. We're walking in the opposite direction as him. And um, as we get by, I just say, coach. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not going to bother the guy. Um, and uh, that was kind of cool. He's like, mm. so. But yeah, I wasn't eating a burrito. That that makes it that makes it a lot cooler. You're right. That does make it a lot cooler. All right, I'm just going to leap of faith here. Come back through here. That works. Okay. And we jump down here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. And we're on to our next room. When am I going to find the last two pieces of my pig love? Pig loving. Uh-oh. Ooh, I'm glad that's a watertight vent. Uh, that's pretty funny, though. All right. We're up here. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, that's the... So, for anybody that's not seen... That's not seen any humans yet. This is not the farmer guy. This is, like, the bird keeper. Uh, he is an enemy now because I took... This bird that's on my back, I took from him. Um, we, we were not enemies at first, but then I, I took his friend and it's kind of funny cause now, I mean, the bird is my friend, um, but it was his friend first. Hmm. 
pig's not going to get through. Will the bird get through? Nope. Okay. Can't get through there. Okay. I'm right here. I would like to think so. Spooky and John Cena. Let's move this over. Okay, it's not letting me move this cart. I don't know if that matters, but I can get up here. Okay, this is what I need. What's magnetic around here? Anything? Don't see anything yet. Oh, there's a gold block up here. Okay, maybe we can use this for its height. Nope, we're going to have to use the bird. All right. What will this guy think? Was he going to try to capture the bird? Oh, he doesn't care. Interesting. Okay. Look at all these birds up here. Thanks for the warm welcome, by the way. Of course. Of course. Man, just reminiscing on Green Hell now, though. I remember the first time, the first time I died, I'm just like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I felt the. I, I'm pretty sure my first death was from a fall of like three feet. What? What the heck just happened there? Did you see that? My bird just got like dazed. That was really weird. Uh, yeah, but in Green Hell, I fell from a height of like three feet, got a scrape, and I didn't know how to clean out wounds. I didn't know like anything to do with the wounds. I didn't know what to do. So it just became infected and I died with like a massive fever. Um, and I was just like, what, like, what are you, <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Like every single thing in that game can kill you. It's, it's unreal. Um, but the storyline is actually really, uh, it's a mysterious storyline, which just had me hooked. And so I got, I got through the stubborn parts of it. Like the, the parts where I normally would have been uh, really frustrated and and whatever. I was like, no, I gotta, I gotta stick with this. There we go. Okay, this has got to be, this has got to be useful for something, right? Getting the pig up here. Maybe I should push that block down too, or maybe I, no, maybe I wait. Let's go up here first. See if we can figure out where we're supposed to go. Oh, keep forgetting to do that. Raise from the platform. This will let me in, I think. Yep. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. I don't really get it. I'm going to be honest. Oh, God. Okay. I might have just... Did I ruin everything? I might have just ruined everything. I did ruin everything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Uh, it would be fun to go back to Green Hell and actually do more building. Yeah, the building in Green Hell is actually pretty cool. Green Hell was so brutal. Jamie and I struggled a lot uh, for weeks trying the blind playthrough. Yeah, D but you, did you both make it through? That's the thing about the game is once you fi once you kind of figure out the system, it is really rewarding. I feel like. Because then it was like, okay, and, and there there came a point where I was like, oh, look, a leopard. Oh, look, I don't have to be afraid. The leopard's dead. You know, it was one of those types of things. And um, I think that was, shoot, I think I just locked myself out of this puzzle. Definitely just locked myself out of this puzzle. I need to move this cart over, right? Well, how would I do that, though? No, that, that can't be. Right? I need to raise this platform somehow. I need to raise it over here. How do I do that? Is there a piece of pork somewhere? And listen to those bird sounds. Got sidetracked back into Elden Ring. I didn't make it. It's okay. I mean, fair enough, honestly. Like, it's... There are a lot of games out there. I won't ever judge anybody for... For not finishing a game. Can the bird fly over here? Not really. There is a button here, but I don't think the bird can interact with it. This. Okay. Gotta 
figure out how to put some weight on this platform over here. Oh wait, and the block is here now. Yeah, because I was going to say, ah, uh, yeah, okay. We could go back through here for what it's worth. Would that help anything? Bird can go under this. What does this go to? Nothing. Ah, if we could turn that off, there is another, there is another way. Okay. Okay. How do we turn that off, though? Man, there's just so many pieces of this puzzle. Got brainworm by Elden Ring when DLC dropped. Yeah, it's, that's fair. A lot of people have been waiting for that DLC. Very patiently. Very patiently. Can this... Probably can't be used... Can't be used as a weight. I need to somehow... Well, then again, that pipe probably would have blocked it anyway. I need to raise this platform because I need to push this this golden block into the water. Uh, but I'm not sure... I'm not sure how to do that because this part is in the way. And I would like to... I would like to raise the platform... Somehow. But I don't have a way to put weight on this right here. Which I assume will raise the platform. Man, the puzzles in this have been tough. Then again, one of them was just... It was a, a bug, but still. I don't feel like there's a bug just yet. I feel like this is something I should be able to solve and I've not yet solved. Probably can't go through here. Oh, it's actually, it blocks me. It doesn't just kill me. Okay. All right. Okay, let's try putting the pig back through here. Come on, get up there. There we go. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and die and see if that'll. But I did die, didn't I? Did that reset the golden block? Let me try this. I need that golden block to be back up on the. Oh shoot. Yeah, I gotta... Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, no, it is up here. Okay. All right. So we need to... We need to push this after, I think. I think. Because we can go through here like this. Problem is getting up there after this this cart is gone. The bird can do it for sure, but I don't think the bird is gonna be able to move this block, right? There'd be no reason for the bird to go through this pipe. Bird cannot move it. Okay. Can the bird move the cart? Yes. Okay, that changes things. I don't know if this is cheating or what, because it doesn't seem like the bird's supposed to be able to push it onto the cart. I could push it onto the cart if I had a way up there. Am I missing another way to get up there other than using the cart to get up there? Because I think what I might try now is... See, there's a little bit of a crack right here. So I can... The bird can move this cart, but it's really slow. I shouldn't shout out potentials if you're figuring it out. No, 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 you're good. You're good. I'm uh, I'm definitely open to some backseating in this for sure. The bird just moves it really slowly, which doesn't feel like it should work, but it is working. So eventually I'll be clear and then I can maybe try to push. Let's see. Is there a collision? There is collision with this pipe, but I feel like this is not going to work, but I got to try it because I'm not sure what else to do. 
So we'll push this over. I have a feeling that block is just going to get stuck there, though. But I really need it to be in the acid so I can move it with the magnet. Yeah, so how's everybody's day going? <laughs> I've been getting so many alerts from the weather channel lately. I think I need to turn them off. Kind of just not been good. Does anybody else, does anybody else use the weather channel app? I feel like their forecasts have been the most accurate of the, of the apps that I use, but their notification system has been just depressing lately. Let me read you these alerts. Let's see if any of them are positive. Ariel, beach town hit by Debbie tornado. Roofs ripped off, trees snapped and flattened. The tornado started offshore and hit a South Carolina town. Let's wipe that one away. Water standing in Savannah homes. I had to sleep on the kitchen table last night. Wipe away. Uh, much cooler. Thanks to this gift from Canada. You may be asking, is summer over? How low will your area get? Okay, so that one's at least just, you know, whatever. Like, yeah, it's going to get cooler where you live. The rest of them are just like... Man, the weather's terrible. Okay, we got the block down here now. I'm guessing it's going to get blocked. It is. Unless we can use the cart to, like, force it through. Nope. We sure can't. We sure can't. Okay. Hate the Weather Channel. Way too much clickbaity articles. It's true, and... They do, like, it's funny. I, they give other information. Like, I've learned a lot about um, celestial events that'll be coming up through the Weather Channel. So, like, I don't hate all of their alerts. I just hate about 95% of them. But now we can use this to get up there for what it's worth. I don't know if that matters. So, that's a thing, at least. We're up here. I don't know if that's somehow better. Weather Channel always sends me the most doomer stuff. It's terrible. It is terrible. Okay, so that platform is not actually a platform. Uh, I will fall down there. I need to somehow... I, I thought maybe I needed to get that block down there. Maybe I can... Could I jump over... No, because the camera doesn't even follow you over there. All right, let's try this, though. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we did this, which turned on the acid. And how far does this room fill up? Oh, there's a platform. I didn't see it before. Okay, there's a platform out of there. All right, so maybe I am on the right track, but what's the point with the other room then? Maybe I'll have to go back? Right, give me the platform. Do, do, do. All right, so this is cool. And then maybe I can fly back as the bird and do something helpful. Or I wonder what happens. Oh, look, there's a piece of, there's a piece of my love, or maybe it's just, no, that's just a regular pork piece. No, the bird cannot fly back. Okay, so we're, uh, we're all systems go from over here. I have a feeling if I land on that platform, it's going to fill this room back up. Not get this dang block off the wall. Okay, but there's gonna be a platform to take me back, I feel. Right? So it'll melt the it'll melt the pork. Oh, oh, it gives me a floater! Haha! <laughs> Alright. 
It's a floater. How do I melt it then? I thought maybe the acid would melt it. Oh, it... Oh, perfect. Okay. Now we do it back again. So it's a little back and forth, back and forth. We finally get our, our pork piece. Okay. Let's, uh, can I drop the pork here? No. Okay. Now eventually that will stop. And then we'll be able to get back through. Right? Doesn't it? Or do I have to do one more time over there on the other side? Okay, I might have to do one more time on the other side. Hopefully, though... Where do I leave this pork in the meantime? Um, oh, okay. I could leave it up here. That would be a safe place. Or I just let me just do this, then. I don't need to go one more time. Aha! This guy's getting really upset, but why? Because of, because of the bird? Oh, he's gonna try to shoot me? Do I have to dodge his attacks or is he cracked at shooting? I bet he's cracked at shooting. Serpentine patterns. Serpentine. Okay, you can't shoot through the floor, thankfully. All right, so then now this is, this platform is lowered. The golden block is back where it was reset. Okay. So let's go back to the pig. Oh, God. All the birds are riled up, but he's only shooting me. I've been drinking more of those vitamin C packages. I think I got sick from the con. I have such a low immune system. Oh, no. I was just about to ask, like, did everybody stay healthy from the con? Alright, one more ride over here to get the... Uh-oh. Why is the acid rising faster than the platform this time? I'll just keep jumping out and maybe it resets the timer. That was weird. Alright. Okay, we're back over here for what it's worth. We can go over here. Hopefully, he's not going to hit us. Let me in the... Let me in the tunnel. There we go. We should be safe in here. Oh, shoot. But I got to push. Okay. Oh, man. All right. That was close. So far, so healthy there. Knock on wood. Yeah, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to keep drinking some emergency packets. Um, oh, oh, and the piece of pork got knocked off over here, too. Okay. Can I move this over far enough to... I can. All right, let's take the pork over here. Where should I take it? Let's just set it here for now. Okay, I don't know if I can... Can I swing this over far enough without losing this? Come on now. Grab it. Okay, I thought I might have lost it for a second there. Okay. Alright, that raises that platform up kind of high, actually. And I can't jump... High enough, I can't jump over there. Okay, what's the reasoning for that? What is the reasoning? What's the meaning behind this? That's all the further I can go with that. If we redrop this over here, that's not going to change anything. Yeah, okay. Hmm. All right. 
birdie. What can you do for us here? Do we go back to lower this? No, I don't think that would help with anything, would it? Lowering this other platform here or raising it? Would that do anything? I don't think so. Get sick, sick so easily, I'm not surprised. I was sick a week or so before my trip. I wonder if that helped. I am still Gucci. That's good to hear. Uh, let's see. Going on the other side would do what exactly? Can't go through there. Oh, the pig can go through there, though. Oh, interesting. Wait, can... The bird can't take the meat through there, so the bird's gonna have to go around. Oh, gosh. Crack shot. Okay, so if we go down here... Um, okay, so piggy could possibly go through over there, but I don't know how that's gonna help. don't know. What if I set this up here? Can I set this up here? Yes. Okay. We'll go back over here. This might just be the next area. So maybe I didn't need the, the meat after all. Okay. Good. All right. A new area. Jeez. How much time do I have? I'm almost out of time here. Well, really, I kind of am out of time. I don't have a morning meeting, though. Gosh, it's always the acid. Always the acid. Oh, and I can't go back? Okay. That's scary. Okay, so that should give me a way across at least. Right? Okay, what does this button do? Or should I not do that yet? No, let's do it. I don't know what that did. If no meeting, why leave? I think you just had to let it finish filling. I think you'd be able to hit the button now. Which, uh... Yeah, let me look back. Oh, that one over there? Yeah, probably could, huh? Or it would be down there, though. Oh, there's a, there's a piece of pork. Hard to see, but there's a piece of pork right under the buttons. So I, I will need that. I think I will need that area. And there's also a gate down there. Okay. Not 100% on that. Yeah, you're right. You were right. See that piece of pork there, so we need to send our bird friend through, but we can't. Can our bird friend go this way? Oh, that gives us our platform to stand on right there, doesn't it? Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So our pig's going to get kind of trapped down there. Hopefully I can make this jump. Probably can, right? Hiya! There we go. All right, here's our pork. And then I don't want to use it there because that means Piggy will be dead for sure, right? Oh, no, he can just float on the... Yeah, he can float on the block. Okay. Get Piggy on the block here. Okay. Hey, Crumble Kitty, how have you been? Things are all right here. How are you doing? How are you doing? Mm -hmm. And then 
this comes back down. Okay. That'll be helpful. We get the pig up here. There's a button over there. Okay. All right. I didn't notice what the lever did. I didn't notice. Okay. So do we want our pig friend to go here, maybe? And then we redrop the pork? Raise the elevator up. Who's this such a smarty pants? No, you. You don't want to help me with that. Hopefully this... I didn't see how high this went up. Hopefully it gets the pig up to the pipe. I think it will. Yeah. Okay. Now we're up here. Don't get blown off the edge. Oh, shoot. I probably... Okay, there we go. What does that button do? I don't have a choice but to check it out. Okay, it starts a conveyor belt of platforms. All right. Can I get down in here? Probably not. No. Okay, so how do I get into that little tiny room? Maybe that's what the... Can the bird move the lever? The bird cannot move the lever. Okay. The pig can jump across those blocks there. There's also a platform. Okay. So we need our... Piggy to... Oh, Piggy can go in here. Ha! He's heavy enough, he won't get blown away. But he's not able to jump high enough to trigger this. Okay. That's interesting. So... Really, though? He's not? Huh. Thriving, how are you? Doing alright. Doing alright around here. And run really fast with the with the wind. Okay, we'll pull this back. I've not yet figured out what this does. Does anybody see anything changing here with this lever? I thought maybe the wind direction would change. Let's see. Ooh, it looks the same. Okay, could there be a way to get our bird? No, because that's blocking the bird. Maybe we just jump across? But then what? If we get to that platform, that'll, that'd be great. Let's try it. We can get here. This is awesome. But, like, what do we do now? Because the bird can't go back. Unless... Maybe we go underneath it, but that's uh, risking dying. Maybe it changes the direction of the conveyor. Oh, that could be. That could be. There's only one way to find that out. Which way did I have it? Man, it seems like a lot of steps. A lot of retracing your steps here in this. I could put the port on this, then we could manually change direction if that's the case. Let's see. Okay, so that's moving. Now let's try the lever. I, I have a feeling you've, you've got to be right, Coleman, because I don't know... Oh, shoot. I don't know what else it could do. Oh. I'll jump on the other one. I don't want to move the acid. A lot of step retracing, though. Uh-oh. Very precise jumping required. All right. Come on now. Okay. So we pull the lever. It does, in fact, change the direction of the conveyor belt. Okay. So how can we use that to our advantage? I think we got to put the... Okay. I think I know. I think I know what we got to do. So we got to take the pork back off the conveyor belt for now. We got to flip-flop the acid. Actually, I could have done that with the pig, though, right? Yeah, I could do that with the pig. We got to keep the conveyor belt going with the pork. 
course, your favorite mod is always right. <laughs> You're all my favorite mods. All right, we can use our pig friend here as long as we make the jump, and we did. Let's swap the direction of the acid. We got to quickly get on that ice block. It does lower the acid in the other room, right? Wait a minute, it doesn't? Okay, it doesn't lower the acid in the other room. Even though that that vent there closed. Hey, Chaotic! Might have just woken up. Chaotic, cheers to ya. How are you doing? Cheers, and that's all right. Time to walk Domino, and then we'll take a nap. Have a good Wednesday, everyone. You as well, Omino. Enjoy your Wednesday. Do we want to change direction of this? Hmm. Those fires are going to be a problem from this direction. They won't be a problem going the other direction, but I don't know how to lower the acid out of here. I feel like it's got to be that... Um, it's got to be that lever underneath. The pig can't carry the pork, though, can he? That's what I'm wondering. If the pig can move the pork, we'll be fine. But if he can't, then this will all be for nothing here. Let's try it. Let's try it. Hopefully he can move the pork. Let's actually, let's test it out first here. He doesn't seem to be able to move the pork, but maybe he can block the wind. Maybe he can block the wind. I didn't check to see the wind animation when the pig was in the tunnel, but maybe that will work. Yeah, it is kind of odd. Do that. Piggy will go up. Been a lot of back and forth on this one. Been on sleeping tablets. My sleep has been so messed up, but they're so trash. They just make me drowsy. You don't help me sleep. Then I sleep all day. So I stopped taking them. Now I'm trying to fix my sleep on my own. That'll be uh, that'll be tough. The tab. So there were tablets that were just making you. They just made you sleep too much. Is that what I'm understanding? Let's see here. If I put the pig here, hmm. I really feel like the pig should be able to trigger this, but he's not. So we're going to have to drop the pork in here, which is funny. We've got a whole pork here, but just a piece of pork is what we need to get that going. Because, yeah, if we... Oh, and actually, you can't even fly through there at all. Huh. Is there a reason to... I don't know. I truly am. I'm not sure. No, the tablets just made me drowsy, but didn't actually send me to sleep. Uh, then I'd be so tired in the day that I'd fall asleep at like 7 a.m. and sleep till 4. Uh, yeah, and me being heavier by carrying the pork doesn't help either. I really need to get the pork in that room, but how? Right, let's try... Let's see, I'm going to try to push it, but it's not letting me. So strange. Maybe need to jump from the other way. I feel like this, maybe this is bugged. That's got to be the only thing I can do, right? Because, yeah, as, as soon as those platforms start going up, I'm going to get burnt by the fire. So the platforms have to go down. 
but I'll be in the acid too long to survive it. So I got to get the acid down. The only thing I could possibly see preventing the acid is this switch would maybe turn off the acid flow that's right underneath it. But I don't know how to get anything down there because of this wind. Could the bird... Okay. It might work, actually. Maybe I need the bird. Okay, I've got an idea. Let's see this. Um, the bird can't get through without the pig, though. How do we get the pork over there? That is not going to work. Okay, never mind. I was thinking we'd try to get the bird to fly. Well, it maybe it would work. The bird could probably get through the acid quick enough to not die. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try it. Um, let's try this. All right. Although, I think it would need to go the other direction. Yeah. Okay. It's going underneath is not really going to help me. Let's flip this. Okay. Then... This is so much backtracking, though, because now I have to get the pig back up there. This can't be the solution, right? Can't be. Oh, shoot. And I realized, yeah, that doesn't even work either. I'm going to say drop the pork on the conveyor to get it over to the button on the right, but the bird can't fly through the acid. Yeah. Sure can't. Sure cannot. A lot of backtracking. That's why I feel like it, it... I don't feel like it's the solution, but I also don't know what else to do. Sorry you hear that? Same thing happened with me. Uh, me with melatonin. Have you tried CBD? I won't touch CBD. It's been really busy work-wise with shoots, so it's just been a battle. I have four shoots this month. Two are paid, so no complaints. Just struggle with my sleep. What is it about CBD? Can the bird drop the meat through the acid? I think it can. It just has to be really quick. The 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 meat will will survive in the acid, but the bird won't. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do now is get the pig over back to the button. The conveyor is going to go the other way. I'm going to try my best. We'll see how it goes. Like I said, I don't think this could... I just don't know what else to try. So I'm going to get the pig to turn on the conveyor belt. I'm going to have him stay there as the bird flies with the pork. Hopefully it will let me get through the acid. No, nope, died too quick. I was going to try to go up and over and then follow the, the direction of the conveyor belt to protect it from the fire. But it was too quick. Let's see. Let's do a practice of that. There's the pork down here. That only the pig can get to. Onto the ice block. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, well, that's a handy glitch. Because, yeah, I was gonna, what I was going to do is have the bird go right under here, fly up as it was doing that, and I think it would have made it with the pork, and I could have dropped it on this platform over here that you see on the right. But this is... Um, this is uh, glitched because it's not arcing. It's not arcing over here. Curly D, hello! Baldur's Gate got a new skin. I, everybody keeps saying this, and now it's making me worried that I'm in the Baldur's Gate category when I shouldn't be. That would be two weeks in a row. I'd feel really, really dumb. How you doing, though, Curly D? Anything that has connection to cannabis, I won't touch. Only drug I do prescribe my doctor and alcohol. I'm actually stopping drinking after my mom's B-Day, too. Um... Well, you can get CBD that doesn't have any THC in it. Um, that's something that was important to me. I, you know, I mean, you know me. I'm, I'm pretty careful about what I put into my body um, because of my athletics. Also, THC is a banned substance in athletics. Um, 
And uh, I, oh, I, that's funny. I just realized the reason the bird can get through there is because it has the pork. And it detected the pork as a pig. All right, so do we turn, maybe I use this right away to turn on the conveyor belt? Or no, I can't. I have to use it to turn the acid back on. Okay, let's drop this here for real quick. It goes through, stands on the block. All right. Yeah, CBD doesn't get you high. CBD is just, um, is just the oil. Uh, the THC is what gets you, is what gets you high. I tried CBD for a little while, and that is one thing I noticed that, um, I didn't notice it so much helping me with inflammation, which is the, which is one of the main reasons that I took it. Um, but it did help with, like, my sleep was super solid when I was on CBD. Um... But yeah, the I was really trying to get it uh, for the inflammation, like de-inflammation, uh, and I didn't really notice a big change for that. All right, let's see if we can use this glitch to our advantage now, because it's definitely glitched. Well, Mr. Lutz's game music is awfully cute. I know, isn't it? In the right category, but the drow and ranger tags are funny. Yeah, I, le I left those just because I'm lazy. Just purely because I'm lazy. Let's see, is this, yeah, that is still glitched, but that is helpful. That is helpful. Um, okay, in this case, we'll just set this down here and we will, I don't see another pork over here. Do you guys? I don't. Okay. So we will need to make sure, I think this is going the correct direction. So we just can put our pig friend on the button. Actually, let's test it with the pork first. It's easier to undo versus me going all the way back. I'm going pescatarian and quitting caffeine as well. Next food shop day, yeah. Yeah, I would say, I mean, I definitely think that's not, that's not a bad idea. Caffeine can definitely it can help and it can hinder. See, I'm glad I tested that. Although it doesn't matter. I'm already up here. Okay. If it stays, it's going to get burned going in that direction. Even underneath the platform. As soon as the platform is up high enough, it's going to get burned. So it would have been the same way with the other direction then, right? Yeah. Okay. But I think... Yeah, I think what we can do then, let's see, because it's glitched out now, well, even if it wasn't glitched out, I can have it go the other direction, although it's not going the other direction now. There it goes. Okay, so it was, all right, fine, that's fine, totally fine. Yeah, that's going to get... I need to drop the acid first. Duh. I was able to get to this point. Um, okay. So maybe maybe we can get our pig friend back up there. Maybe it'll... Maybe it'll be okay. Uh, an idle click game. Wait, which one is? Adventure Capitalist. Never heard of that one played way too much of that game. Uh, cannabinoid. I forget how to say that. Cannabidinoil? I forgot how to say it. But yeah, exactly. Where part of the body, um, it's where part of the body high when you smoke comes from. Cannabid. I always forget how to say it. Anyway. Um, BRB, Mr. Lewis, I'm off to the land of Wikipedia. Got really bad shakes I haven't eaten, and I think it's going to do with my blood sugar levels dropping. My doctors are useless, so I'm just going to try and fix it myself. It's going to be tough, but I'm fed up of shaking and heart palpitations. Can the meat go through the flame without being destroyed? I think so. You think throwing the meat on there would help? I think it can. Man, I was hoping I could just solve this, but now I'm, like, really playing longer. I'm playing a lot longer than I expected to. Alright, our 
pig friend goes up. Um, we'll have him jump in the vent just to see if that'll do anything. Maybe that was bugged until I died. Okay, cannabidol, cannabidol. Stuck on mobile. You're good. It's all good. All right, let's see. We can go through here again. I just feel like that's got to be the trigger there, but we got to get the pork in there somehow. Um. All right. Does standing on this? That doesn't do anything other than just turn on the conveyor. Uh, I just really need something to make that wind stop. Then we'll be, we'll be golden. Also, there is a vent straight above me. Is there... I didn't go through that. Okay, there is... Something's supposed to come down from there, but what? Maybe I take the meat with me? Nope. Hmm. I did, did not feel like I got close enough to the fire there, but... Talking to what you need, something seeing as it's half three, just woke up before I start shaking BRB. What if its soundtrack was uploaded to YouTube? I love cute video game instrumentals. You can do it, Lutz! I might have to take a pause here. I should really, uh, I should really get into work. I have a lunch, I have a couple meetings today, so I need to make sure I can get enough work done. Um, meetings that are not related to work, I should clarify. Not related to my full time, at least. They are related to some work, but. Okay, I tried jumping, didn't quite make it. Meetings are for the week. Um, that gate is gonna have a switch to open as well. It's a tough puzzle. There's also a pipe over there, which is kind of interesting. Oh, that's the that's one of the flame pipes. Okay. Just the flames weren't coming out, so I didn't notice. All right. Uh so again, this is kind of bugged over here, so I, the bird can fly through, but Yeah, let's try cooking the meat. Why not? Let's see what happens. Oh, you know what? The meat's going to Gosh, dang it. The meat is going to flip over there and hit the other lever. I feel dumb now. Okay. So we just got to get our pig friend back up. Okay, I know what I'm- I understand what I'm doing now. Gosh dang it. Gosh dang it. Get them bills paid. Yeah, that's what we- that's what we're trying to do out here for sure. The pig's already on the block? No. New pig's on the block. you could do it. I hope so. I mean, I know that this will do something. What it will do, I do, that part I don't know. I'm hoping it will lower the uh, it will lower the acid level over there. Alright, but if this doesn't get us through, either way, I'm gonna have to stop. I'm gonna have to stop. Alright, do this. You do that, then I do this, then I do that, then I do this. Okay, piggy go up. Acid go down. And hopefully it will go the same direction it did last time, because I don't, I don't truly know. Yeah, I'm curious if the pork, if, as long as the pork doesn't burn up, like get destroyed, this should work. And then maybe that will turn off the vent. Maybe that's maybe that's all it does, but that would be and see it went the other way this time. Okay, that is not what happened last time. Last time I had to flip I had to trigger this twice. So now we get to do this again. That part kind of sucks. There's only one way to get the pig up there, and that's the elevator. Okay, so it's one more step here. Wish it was just a little bit faster. At least I was able to catch a little bit of today's stream. I well, I appreciate that, Curly D. I really do. How's your uh, How's your day looking today? You got a good one ahead of you. 
Or shoot, I, I guess I don't know what time zone you're in. Maybe your day's already half over. All right, so we got this. We got to grab the meat block once again. Okay. I wish I had two of these dang things. Then I'd be set. Long shift ahead of me. Don't even want to think about it, but thanks for asking. Oh, sorry. Also appreciate your uh, streaming late made for a nice morning. You make for a nice morning. All right, let's drop that there. Let's hope there's not a glitch in the conveyor belt this time. Go back over here. All right, please let this work, please. Pretty please with a piggy on top. Okay, we're going to have a glitch now where I can't... Oh, come on. There we go. Jeez. Uh, the meat is invisible. Hopefully it's still there, though. I don't really care as long as it's still there. It's tiny now. It's an invisible tiny meat. Please still have all of the weight behind it. Actually, it just got stuck somewhere. Okay. Yep. Yep. There are some interesting glitches in this game. Try pausing the... Duh. Yeah, it is invisible, and now it no longer has any collision. Okay, perfect. Now, this is good. I'm guessing what was going to happen this time is the meat would have fallen down onto that button there and hopefully turned off the wind through this, which would have let me come in here, drop the meat there... Um, or maybe it turns off the fire as well. I don't even know. All I know is that the meat is now bugged. Which is fantastic. Alright, what time do I usually stream? I, I'm streaming at my usual time. I'm just going later than my usual time. Um, usually I'm done about half an hour before this. Food is in. Steak, pie, and chips. Diet chips from a diet company. Need to get rid of my meat for my next shop so I can go to pescatarian. Can't go full vegetarian, so pescatarian is my compromise. I just appreciate a longer stream from you, Lutz. Well, seriously, that's... I appreciate you guys. Mood, meat, mood. Just getting stuck. Don't want to go. Yeah, I think we're going to have to leave it here, my friends. Um, I'm enjoying the game, no doubt. But I, I'll be honest, like, the, the bugs make it a little bit tough. They make it a little bit tough. It just needs a little bit more polish, I think. So, um, yeah. But this is Pig Romance, and it is very funny. It's very cute. Um, if you're willing to kind of put up with some of the bugs for right now, I imagine they'll get patched. But if you're willing to put up with some of the bugs right now and just reload your save and just kind of keep reloading, you'll uh, you'll probably end up getting to the end of this game. And I'll be honest, I'm really curious what happens when you get all of the pig parts. Do you end up with your... Is there some sort of neck, like necromantic ritual that goes on and you end up building your pig love back together? I, I'm not really sure. Maybe you live... Uh, happily pig ever ever after kind of i don't know but yeah i don't know <sighs> i'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording there and friends let us head to the tavern So yeah, reloading the game also did help. So that'll be uh, that's that's something handy to know. Uh, so these bugs are probably a little bit hard for for the devs to catch uh, since they don't really, I don't know, they kind of happen in a, a sort of in isolation, I guess. But all I know is when you solve this one to be happy as a pig, and never mind. <laughs> I'll try to catch you at eight. Yeah, usually usually eight o'clock until about. Uh, until about 10 15. Um, I don't have afternoon or I don't have morning meetings uh, on Tuesdays and Fridays. So sometimes uh, on those days I'll play a little longer. This one I was like, ah, well, I'll just figure out this puzzle and then I'll be gone. I'll be gone. But um, took a while to figure out and then the glitch happened. So bye, my lovelies. Goodbye, Lady Iron. Hate glitches, but at least it was horrible. It wasn't horrible. Yeah, I think I think if I reload, it'd probably be fine. I might I might try to knock that out off stream and and uh. 
maybe so I can at least show you guys what happens. But W or sorry, VW Factor, thank you so much for the follow. We got subs today: Jar Jar Joel, Heinous Hag, Rubus Three Maraud, Nightwatch Live, Treader Seventy Seven, Pocket Ninja One One Two, Woodsy, and Call Me Chaotic. Five of those gifted by our mod Hercules. Also Chaotic, Coleman, and Octi, members of the mod squad, and our August Discord subscribers: Wes, Gabby, Peachy, and Ursa. Thank you for continued support over on Discord. It seriously helps me out a bunch. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch. So thank you for that. Uh, thank you for stream. Love you all. Have Lo, you all have a great day. You as well, Ursa, and I lo you as well. Nice seeing you, Curly D. Thank you so much for checking back in with us. Thank you, Nova and Gabby and Spooky. I miss Joel popping in. Uh, Joel was gifted by Kirk. So Joel was either lurking or uh, had to been in recently. But yeah, that was uh, that was our 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 uh, local legend, Hercules, with another sub bomb. Hopefully, I'll fix my sleep. I hope so, chaotic. I hope so. Keep working hard at it. Don't give up. Um, Kirk, love you, dude. Thank you for hanging out. Uh, so I can come in at the proper time. More than likely asleep since UK. Oh yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Friends, I hope you have an amazing rest of your Wednesday. Tomorrow we're back into Baldur's Gate three. Uh, and then we'll round out the week on Friday with the Summer Simulacra. Uh, this time we're going to be playing Indigo Park. It is a... Um, the first chapter of Indigo Park is free to play, so we're going to check that out. Uh, it relies heavily on environmental horror, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know what to expect. I've, I've heard the game is fun. I think Gabby's played it, um, but I don't know anybody else. Uh, I don't think anybody else has told me they played it at least, so... Um, so we're going to be checking that out Friday. Be a little bit, it'll be a little bit spooky and scary, uh, I think, but, um, we we'll try it out. So yeah. Thanks for the stream. Take it easy. You as well, Woodsy. Friends, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. Um, take care of yourselves and others. I'll see you real soon. All right. Love you. Bye.